wasting some time here with a bit of the Baltimore. Kind of rhymed, didn't mean to do that. Uh, bought this recently when they had the on the track uh, to the Des Moines event, saved up my money, bought myself a Baltimore. Uh, just managed to get all of the uh, upgrades purchased for it. I do have the concealment rudder and the uh, main battery mod 3. I do like uh, increasing my rate of fire. I don't have all of the upgrades yet, obviously, so that's kind of kind of kind of crappy. <clears throat> and also, my range is really terrible. I really had a hard time. Tell me what you what you do on the Baltimore. If you like to play with the uh, quicker load time or with the uh, increased range, it's kind of something I was debating about doing. I am trying to go for a stealth build with this. I am saving up my captain points. My captain's not even retrained yet. And I'm, and I'm going to get the Concealment Expert and uh, mainly use this for DD hunting support and all around good time. Fun destruction thing. Anyways, so the game you're going to see, I actually didn't even have the uh, B-hole at that time. I actually unlocked it with uh, this game that you see and purchased it. <clears throat> but man, this ship is really... I forgot how much I missed this thing. It's really fun. Uh carriers don't even come near you i mean they just oh american cruiser leave it alone so it's not really a problem i've run into after about 10 battles even i've just i mean random fighters that come a little too close but then they all run away it's great so hopefully y'all enjoy and i will probably be playing this most of the weekend and oh yeah other thing so good news i actually was able today to upgrade are you done sneezing whatever noise you were making Anyways, the dogs are in here with me. They're trying to add their own commentary. I was able to upgrade my internet to uh, unlimited data, so I'll be able to stream as much as I want now. Thank you. <clears throat> and so that, uh, look forward to that. I have a link to my Twitch channel. These dogs, man. <laughs> uh, sitting here playing this game, they're nice and quiet, then start trying to actually record something, they go crazy. Kind of like my wife. Anyways, hopefully I'll enjoy the game. See y'all later wasting some time here with a uh, battle I had in the Baltimore on the ocean last night. Last night uh, was the last battle I fought. Uh, I'd like to end on a high note. Maybe a bit of a spoiler there. It's, uh, it's a good game. I mean, I mean, I guess you no reason to expect I would. You know, one day I'm going to put just a terrible, terrible game on here. I mean, you see those when I do live stream. I do have bad games, but uh, yeah, that'll be different, right? Anyway, so Baltimore here. I really do like the Baltimore. I uh, got it recently, earlier this week when it was on sale. And I do want to get at least all the modules unlocked. This is actually completely stock. I have all the upgrades, uh, but none of the modules are unlocked right now. But man, this uh, I really do like the Baltimore. I missed it from... Uh, I mean, I had it in CBT. I forgot how much I missed the thing. It's very, very powerful in my opinion. Obviously, a lot of people like the Zhao. Or the uh, the Hindenburg or the Ibuki, but Baltimore man, it's uh can be dangerous. It does seem a bit more beefy than the uh, the other tier nine uh, offerings, if not as fast or as uh, hard hitting as uh, the other ones. Anyways, went down here kind of to support these two uh, destroyers. We did run into some problems here. There's a Zuma Iowa Baltimore plus that destroyer I was shooting at. I think there's two Sims. Uh, there's two destroyers that are in the division. Division on the enemy team are two sims. Apparently I can't talk today, but that's nothing new. And you probably will hear some random dog noises. They are uh, out and about in, in the room right now. Have HE loaded. And I really, really do like the upgrade of the actual penetration you get with the Baltimore over the New Orleans. It really feels like uh, you can do some damage into a person. Got a few hits into that uh, Sims there, I think, if I recall correctly. And just got shot at. So, dip, dodge, dive, duck and dodge. <laughs> Makes you cringe, cringe every now and again. And there's, yeah, great, great contribution, Lola. Thank you. Good job. That's what everybody wants to hear, a dog scratching themselves, shaking the crawler everywhere. Anyway, shooting at the Baltimore. And there's Sim next to him. Hear any weird licking noises? I have a dog sit in my lap, and she's licking at me. 
Got a nice shot into him. Got a reset. Got a fire. And uh, he, he looks like he doesn't want anymore. He throws out a whole bag of nopes. Heads out. Gets uh, smacked by somebody on my team. For most of us, that is another thing. I really do like the radar. Uh, obviously, when the radar came out, I had already made it all, my, all the way past the uh, New Orleans. Well, Y'all obviously don't know that, but yeah, I had. And I hadn't had a chance to really try that out on a consistent basis. I did take check it out a little bit. I really do like hunting destroyers in the uh, this now. Dodge more shells from that Iowa. He doesn't seem to get that I'm going to do exactly what I did right there. He just got a pretty good shot into him from the uh, somebody, and <clears throat> some of you may have noticed that there's not any damage markers coming up for uh, a lot of the ships. I'm pretty sure that has something to do with the mods I have. That <laughs> three shots, two fires. <laughs> oh, RNG, thank you. Started five fires already. I'll I'll take it. Won't complain about that. But uh, I do think it is one of the mods. I'm going to guess it's the damage mod. Uh, so I have active on my computer right now. I have the damage mod, uh, training room mod, and the recording, battle recording from Aslan's going. And we don't get damage above the ship, but it does take it off the health, health uh, of the ship there. So if y'all been seeing that, I've been seeing it too. I haven't bothered enough to... Uh, Actually, look into why it's doing that. This guy's just getting wrecked. About to eat another torpedo. I have three fires on him, I think. <laughs> or I have at least two. And, oh, there we go. There's the third fire. <laughs> uh, one of them went out, but, yeah, he's just just wallowing in the, the burning of it. Oh, goodness. And that's kill number one. Thank you for your contribution. And for all the... Uh, fiery bits I got to burn on you. All the bits I got to burn on you. I don't know what I was trying to say there. I hardly do, ever. Bit of a drink of a soda. Had some Taco Bell. It's Friday. It's good for you. It's healthy. Instead of going to the gym, have some Taco Bell. Makes you happy. And going into A here. Try to cap it. They have a... Uh, we've killed three of their battleships, so that is really... That's a big advantage just to our one battleship loss and two cruisers. And our two destroyers are still working. Trying to get that damage in. Running off those two sims from the uh, B cap. Have some torpedoes coming in. From those two uh, Mayhans. I'm assuming those are from the Mayhan. They're not going very quick. No, not the Mayhan. The sims, I mean. They're not going very fast. Those slow, slow torpedoes the sims are st stuck with. If you want them to stealth torp. And everything's good. Nothing to worry about too much. Nice 30,000 damage so far. I really wish they had the... Uh, I'm actually going to check after this. I don't even know if it's active or not. I wish they had the minimap mod for last known position of enemy ships. That's uh, the one I, I like the best, honestly. Trying to get in range of that enemy Baltimore. Get some more fires on them. So besides that, Tier 9, you get the uh, the repair for the uh, your health repair. That is always nice, too. And the 5.5. I really do like the, that they added the shells in. It was very nice. And he is about to get broadside to me. Still shooting HE. Because I'm a noob. That's right. I really just want to get a fire on the guy. It's not really working out for me too much. And he is using his uh, repair there also. And if, you know, so I don't have the, the upgraded uh, <clears throat> two fires, one volley. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and more fires. Now that he put them out, then you have to set another fire on the guy. Because, you know, you want them to burn. <laughs> ah, burning. Oh yeah, Game of Thrones. I'm a fan. I didn't really like the uh, some of the episode that they had. Looking forward to the Sunday night. Uh, I didn't like... Well, I don't know if it's really spoilers. I don't like how they're doing the Dorn storyline. If you're a Game of Thrones fan, you may know what I'm talking about. If not, uh, just a random opinion. Everything else is pretty good, though. And kill number two. Thank you for burning. 
And now back into it. Enemy Abuki coming in. Trying to engage our two destroyers here. I'm going to head into him. Try to uh, get some of the more destruction into him. And looking at that Pensacola. Pensacola is our, our fun citadel. Load up the AP. Try to get some rounds into him while he's uh, closing in. Showing a broadside. It's really titled this. Uh, Thank you for turning broadside, Pensacola. Appreciate that. Shots out. He's turning away a little bit. And there we go. One citadel. <laughs> I always appreciate it when an enemy cruiser is so cooperative as to show me that. And another 5.5 .5 thing, you can see right down on screen, the uh, ship animations. That's really nice. I, I do like it. It does add a bit more. I've seen them. Some of them are kind of glitchy. I'm talking kind of fast. I'm sorry. Some of the animations are glitchy. And man, those uh, that Pensacola and that Ibuki really just messed me up pretty bad right there. A whole lot of damage they got into me from HE. Put out the fires. Trying to get into this smoke. I don't have my captain's not retrained even already, so I can't tell if I am. Just kind of get into the general gist of the area. <clears throat> Keep an AP loaded. Hopefully, this uh, Ibuki does that right there. Thank you. Keep on doing it. Obviously, I'm still spotted. This gentleman is kind enough to turn broadside to me why I have AP loaded. Thank you. There's one Citadel and five hits. <laughs> Excuse me, Marsh 4. Could you could you do that again, please? And he, he does. It's, it's magical. He's not even shooting at me anymore. Out of sight, out of mind, apparently, for that uh, gentleman. <laughs> why you would do that, I... So I don't even know, because my captain's not trained. I don't know if I wasn't spotted. I'm going to assume I wasn't spotted anymore because they both stopped shooting at me. So that's nice. And uh, so let's finish that guy off. Now looking at this Pensacola again. Hopefully we can do the same to him. But he actually turns. What is this uh, turning? I do. <laughs> I did use my barrage ability because I did want to get uh, that plane from spotting me anymore. Only want to be spotted when I'm shooting. You know, it's uh not any other time. Looking for the shot, trying to figure out what this guy's doing. He seems just like he's a, a weaver. Bob and weave, apparently, with this gentleman. It's not the worst strategy. Get a few shells on him, but uh, not anything significant as far as damage wise. Use my uh, health uh, reach in there again. I never remember what that thing is called. I probably should probably look that up. Gun crews and to dodge some incoming shells, it's another thing about the Baltimore. So this is the stock, so it has like an 8.3 second rudder shift time. Uh, it does get even better when you upgrade to the uh, the B-Hull. I think it's like 6.3 or something. I'm not looking at it at the moment, but uh, that is one of the highlights of this ship for me. The, uh, the rudder shift it helps you dodge a lot of incoming shells, a lot of torpedoes. It is kind of turning broadside just a little bit. I'm trying to keep an eye on that Admiral Hipper. He is uh, fairly concerning. He uh, can hurt me a lot more, a lot quicker than that uh, Pensacola can. Go ahead and shift to him. Shots out. He's not even engaging me, which I appreciate. <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, one hit. It's just uh, not the... Uh, ooh. And trying to dodge these Baltimore shells. He is backing up, and I'm broadside to him, so I appreciate that. I just noticed he was backing up on those uh, second shot there. Incapacitate something. And look for the kill on these last ones. There it is. Kill number four. Thank you for uh, showing your broadside to me there. Trying to run away. I don't know what that's about, but okay. Still have the AP loaded. Looking to uh, hit this guy. He says, here's my broadside. Please kill me. <laughs> Okay, it's like uh, from Alien 4 when uh, the Ripley clones are in there. Spoiler alert, movie came out a long time ago though. Kill me. <laughs> okay, this guy, that Pensacola looked like he wanted to die too, but we didn't have time. And that's uh, that's all she wrote. 950,000 credits. Six Citadels. 
that makes me happy really do like the uh, times two credits earned uh, decent top of the team there uh, the Kagero and the friendly Iowa both uh, doing a lot of work too anyways hopefully y'all enjoyed come back and see me blow more stuff up and hopefully cooperative enemies